Between the devil and the deep blue sea. Be between the devil and the deep blue sea to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Horn from here, and our idiom today is between the devil and the deep blue sea. I had never heard this expression before, but it is really powerful and applicable to many of our lives and many of our situations right now. In the 17th century, there was a board on a ship that held the guns. Guns were fastened to it, and it was called the devil. Closest thing I have to the devil in my house. <laughs> and sometimes a sailor would have to go out and make repairs to the ship, and he would have to be between the devil, the board on the ship, holding the guns, and the deep blue sea. In high seas, it was a really treacherous, dangerous job to have to go out and repair the ship. And so the expression between the devil and the deep blue sea was born. And then it morphed and changed over the years to describe somebody that was between two difficult situations and they didn't really necessarily know what to do, or somebody that was just facing any kind of a difficult situation. Now, with COVID-19 and our businesses, many of us are facing one of three scenarios, right? There's pretty much all of us can be in one of three buckets. One, um, we're shut down. Our business is shut down and we're dead stopped right now. Two, we're somewhere in between. We're providing some service for customers, but uh, a much limited service and very different than what we used to do. And the third position you might be in is that you are swamped. Your, your industry, your business is either making different products and services than you've ever made before. You're just getting tons of demand for your products and services. You're finding flaws in your systems and processes from the past because they can't handle the additional demand. I think of the grocery supply chain right now and I get horrified when I hear about farmers killing chickens and blueberries being destroyed because they can't find packaging. Um, two very short-sighted, just mind-blowing situations that just kind of really frustrate and irritate me because I know there's always solutions, right? But our businesses are, are usually in one of those stages, just like you're either, you might not have a, well, if you're listening to me, you have a business. You're starting a business, you're just getting started, you're trying to maintain and, and save and s salvage your business or just keep going at the same track, or you're trying to grow and scale and supersize your business. Now, whatever your situation in business right now, the world has forever changed. The world is gonna to continue to forever change. Guess what? The world has always been changing. It just hasn't made such a drastic stop and readjustment in any of our lifetimes. And just because it's changing immediately and fast doesn't mean we haven't been experiencing these things all along. All of us have experience dealing with change, solving problems, handling difficult situations, and this situation is no different. How we solve a problem is how we solve a problem all the time, right? There's a basic foundational process of solving a problem that you use no matter what size the problem is, just like there's a decision-making process. We make decisions based on, you know, all the time, right? Millions and millions of decisions in our lifetimes, and we don't change our process of doing that based on the size of the decision. We might spend a little more time and energy, we might do a little more research and making a, what we consider a bigger decision in our life, but otherwise, the actual foundational process of how we decide is the same all the time. So, what do you do? What do you do when you feel like you're in this tough spot and you don't know what to do next? You just, you have no idea. You're like so inundated with change and challenges and, and stress and frustration and fear and doubt and worry that you are frozen in place. <clears throat> First thing to do is realize that this is really an abnormal, normal situation. You've dealt with it before. You've successfully solved problems your entire life up to this day and this point. So no matter what you're facing, you have the capacity and the ability to, to move forward and make it work out the way you want it to, right? Our, our ability to make things work the way we want them to and to get the outcomes we want is 100% dependent on us. And that's really a hard thing to swallow sometimes because when we realize that we're 100% responsible for the outcomes that we get, that means we have control over it. We have control over not maybe what's going on around us, but we always have 100% control over what we do about it, what we're gonna choose to do about it, how we're gonna react, how we're gonna respond, and then how we're gonna get creative and resourceful and what we're gonna do next or what we're not gonna do. As business owners, we are out moving. Even if we're frozen, we're still usually moving. And if we're not, we've got some questions to ask ourselves. Number one, do I still wanna be in this business? Because if we don't wanna be in this business, we should proactively decide that and say, 
this happened, this is a good reason for me to stop doing that business that I don't love. I've done that. I've had to do that without COVID-19. Look at my life because I had to help my own personal health dead stop and say, is this the business sh that I should still be in? Because it was actually soul sucking and I hated it. And so my health challenge gave me my reason and my excuse. If I needed an excuse for letting myself off the hook for something, I took the advantage of that excuse and I switched it direct, switched it. I switched directions in my life totally. I, I moved away from businesses that didn't feel good to me into businesses that felt good to me and doing things in my life that felt good to me and, and were good for me. Uh, so we can absolutely positively decide this isn't for me anymore I'm going to stop doing it but then we can't just stop and die there we have to say what am I gonna do next and move in the direction of the thing that we really want a lot of our businesses are not just pivoting they're making you know massive 360 spins on the flywheel in a hurricane and we need to make sure that we're in control of those decisions how do we do this we have our clear vision of what we want up here right out here is our long-term goal and vision of what we want and we need to make long-term decisions that are moving us toward that so killing our inventory trashing our inventory those aren't really very good long-term decisions just because we're not selling right this minute right now doesn't mean we destroy our ability to make income later on so that's my the chicken and the because the eggs aren't selling and the blueberry molding situation and I don't know the details of those stories but I guarantee bad management bad ownership decisions it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out so what do we do if we're between a uh, rock and a hard place if we're between the devil and the deep blue sea like our little red devil here we know that we can solve it know that we can create it we focus on the solutions we get creative we get resourceful we ask for help if we need to but we take some kind of action always to be moving us in the direction of our long-term goals and objectives now sometimes we have to do some short-term blood clotting blood stopping activities but let's make sure that we're not cutting off our nose to spite our face during times of crisis that's it have an amazing day if I can help you in any way please ask me in the comments below um, if you do feel like you've just got two choices and you're between these two bad choices just ask if you don't have anyone else to ask ask me I'll be glad to help you get moving in the right direction the right direction for you not the right direction for me because I'm already moving in my right direction but I want to make sure that you're moving in your right direction too take care have an awesome day and I will be with you tomorrow another interesting idiom what does it mean where does it come from and how might you be able to apply it to your life and your situation right now